two episodes of the league campaign to go. Of course, we could have playoffs. You are excited, I hope, as am I. Run the intro. Let's get started. folks welcome back to an episode of afc Thames. it's so it's weekend special time right now viewers as we have a very exciting episode for you the first bit of drama you can see it on the screen there woking and fleetwood their game has been postponed we're in may i don't really know why it's being postponed uh, it's been postponed uh, they'll play on the tuesday night now so we won't know the result of their game until afterwards of course if we beat stevenage in this first game though we put ourselves in pole position to hopefully achieve some magical things of course four games then left of our league season you were with me last time after a dramatic late win against Woking, Stevenage, Dulwich Hamlet um, you've got Aldershot and Scunthorpe those are the teams that stand in my way and I will be wrestling back control of this league campaign if it's the last thing I do, at least that's the hope. Uh, let's run you through the team then for this first game against Stevenage and then of course we'll catch up what happens on Tuesday between Woking and Fleetwood so team wise I don't think there are going to be too many surprises in this lineup. then Concanon, Butler, McBride, Sweeney and Turner at the back we've got Jamel, Grice and Brown in the middle with Siddiqui uh, flanking, oh, sorry, flanking supporting cabbage and Bre broom up top then can they do the business i certainly hope so into the games we go then ocon still not quite fit to play uh, so chimel's moved over to that side and brown's come in as the mazala game time and a game we've got to win now the thing with this game is that it gives me a chance as you won't do opposition opposition instructions i've been very keen to just sort of do what we do and not worry so much about what the other side do i think sometimes i get bogged down in in worrying about what the team's doing we are a tough team to stop if you give us the space to maneuver in ways where we can be extremely effective um of course we know this and this is not news but in every game we go into we are not the favorite you saw there right we are second in the league table i could have told the boys we're the underdogs here like steven and Jarth are 11th in the league table um i was doing a little bit of research uh pre i don't want to say pre-promotion but pre-potential playoffs or potential promotion oh my word they've hit the post um the lowest wage in the league in league two is a million it's like almost dead on a million of course we are currently servicing around 200 250,000 with the lowest wage in the league as Holmes's ball there is blocked by Turner now you can tell this is a very narrow pitch this is this is a long pitch rather than a wide pitch as McBride heads that clear I actually think that probably plays into our hands of course we play quite a narrow system as is but of course Stevenage as the home side will be more used to playing this way as Broom as the ball breaks for him he's now racing in on goal and we know what he's like he takes a few chances normally but sometimes he just does the business he it's very, very lucky. Scott Broom on the breakaway. Thames one. Steven is nil. It's the perfect start to proceedings, viewers, after not even five minutes. Oh, it's deflected out to him. And then he ra races forward. I wasn't that confident that he'd score from this particular angle. But when the ball breaks, it's a very lucky break at that. Uh, he converts into the back of the net. Steven nil. Thames one. I'm aware they're Stevenage, but it just says Stephen. So why would I not say Stephen? There's going to be a free kick in a, in a dangerous position as Kavanaugh steps up. They've got two players on the edge of the box. They find one of them. A shot comes in. It breaks back to Kavanaugh. They're a little lucky this time as the ball breaks again. And it's blocked. And then, oh, throwing bodies in front of it right now. Thames really fighting for this as Cabbage flies in. It's going to be a throw in. The, the Thames away crowd are loving this. And now, a chance of our own, maybe, as Butler and Brown combine on that right hand side. Ball painting. Cabbage flicks on. Oh, it's a ball. It's disallowed. No. I definitely didn't over, over celebrate there. No, certainly not. It's still 1 0, but it was a wonderful delivery in. And I mean, oh, it, just, it just wanders offside, trying to find a little bit of space, comes back uh, into not even on, an onside position, really, just on the line of it. Um, so far, we've got the goal. I'm actually going to go slightly less attacking. I don't think we need to be quite as risk takery as uh, Kavanagh. Again, ball played in, right heads in on goal, and wow, it's a, a fantastic header. Jeff Kavanagh with a fantastic delivery, too. Not really marking it very effectively. Of course, we try and break from these rather than sitting back and trying to defend them. So um, sometimes this will happen as it's played in, they find the perfect delivery and can can and can't keep it out it's interesting because the boys in the other game don't play today and i was expecting them to we don't have to keep an eye on what's going on elsewhere so the job is just win as that shot is easily claimed by can i'm wondering if that was the highlight it was the highlight i was wondering if we were going to break away from it as another free kick and we saw in a recent game against carlisle that we are not that good at saving them can can and a sure steps up and wow whistles it the, the wrong side if anything tries to put it across the keeper which is a bit strange as i've got to say stevenage so far are having a lot of the ball we're just going to try and slow things down even more i think actually do we, oh actually do i get more direct here and try and hit on the break we're not having as much of the ball 
as we're used to. I actually think we do the opposite. I think we, we we speed things up a little bit if we can and try and catch them out because so far, this passive way of playing has been, I'd say, semi-effective. Our goal, again, it wasn't a greatly constructed move or anything. It was just us catching them on a break as we give the ball away in a terrible area. Young now bears down on goal. The shot is poor, but that's another warning. I'm going to tell them to... I'm going to... What should I say here? I want to, I'm going to fire them up because I feel like they've not enjoyed that at all at 1-1. We probably should have encouraged. As you can see, Stevenage are absolutely dominating here. Their front four on absolute fire. It'll be interesting to see average positions of both sides because I don't feel like the Stevenage back line have been particularly threatened. So let's just take a look at this. In the analytical data, uh, we are really, really deep and they are incredibly pushed up, which you would think would allow us loads of space in behind. There's a few things then we can try and maybe make more use of um, by distributing over the bat line, slowing things down a little bit, taking long kicks. That's all I'm going to change for now because the way that the, the both sides are set, the idea that they're pushing forward, if Concanon gets it, launches over the top to the likes of Cabbage, to the likes of Broom, that might be where we get a goal from. So we'll keep an eye on that for the first few moments. If that's not working, we'll push our line slightly higher so we're not just defending deeply. Of course, we can't because of this way of playing now we kind of want our boys back here as that's a little bit nerve-wracking um to be sort of taking their time a little more as the clearance isn't great but essentially steven is coming forward and can having the ball now plays in to how we are trying to break on the counter um i mean do we go sort of more balanced here? it's it's 1-1 one, one. again it's a game that we need to win but because of the way the game has gone i don't feel like a draw is an awful result like again we've got to just make sure we're staying in the race right now as turner with some nice control lifts one forward towards cabbage who wins the knockdown brilliantly and now chimel plays it back out to turner and because we've slowed things down maybe that's having a good effect in transition especially as if you can pull the ball back back to turner the left back if you could get a ball into the center it's cleared away quite comfortably so and he's missed the header and now Henri will say it's on me it might be henry racing on on goal shoots just wide they're not being that clinical in on the on the break but um you know, we're definitely aware of it as uh, sadiki We've got a throw in. I'm, I'm probably going to make a change anyway here. I think Dylan coming on for Siddiqui is the obvious move. And we'll just see. 20 minutes to go. Of course, yesterday we had a very late goal. Some lovely drama. And can we replicate that again today as Turner plays it inside? Chamil on it again into Turner. And these two boys just got to keep it. Just got to find and wait for the right moment. As Broom's there. Is it going to go in? Is it the post? I think he was offside. Oh, two chances now, which have been offside, that have been very, very good. One, of course, went in. But still, 15 minutes to go to corner. We'll play it short. We'll look for Turner on the edge, I think, as the ball does find Turner. We know that left foot could be dangerous. Oh, it's so dangerous. Moist Turner makes it 2-1. And out of nothing, it was a set piece. Thames 2, Stevenage 1. What a strike from Moist Turner. Absolutely spectacular. As they just see, it was always coming, right? These short corners really are effective now. And that is a fine finish. 2-1. Now we've got something to protect. And with that in mind, there's this temptation now, I think, to go to a more cautious style. But the second half has been far better from us. I don't think we necessarily need to. As the time is ticking away, we're going to waste and run this clock down as much as we can. Substitutions, all sorts, really. We're going to get Broom off, are we, for the final few moments? No, Grice, uh, Gr or Grease, Grice is going to come off. Uh, we can play Chimel in the centre for now. Four minutes left to go. I could, I'm happy with no highlights, but again, we're just trying to slow things down. As two minutes remaining, this could be a crucial win, and will send us back to the top of the Vanarama National. Stephen won, Thames 2. And there we have it then. It was a tight affair, but we'll take it. People have written us off today. It's a huge away win. Blimey, Charlie, massive away win. And uh, it now takes us into our next game. Spirits high. But what will Woken and Fleetwood do? If they draw, that's the best result ever for us. I'm actually quite, uh, quite anxious about their game. I, I just... I, it's so important. That's the thing right now, right? It's so important. Change my lighting to be a little bit brighter. Should we make it a bit more orange? Would you like it a bit more... Oh, there we go. No, I think the white was better. I'm going back. All right, huge win. You can see he puts us back on top. I mean, I'm saying a Woking... I'm saying a draw is pretty good. A Fleetwood win is not terrible either because we've got that advantage now. Anything but a Woking win. And we are very, very happy, of course. Again, they play on the Tuesday then. And uh, we'll go towards that game. And we'll just see how that goes. We have Dulwich Hamlet then, who, I've got to be honest, are one of the most beatable So They're bottom of the league. They're bottom of the league. I've, my record against bottom of the league sides is not as good as it should be, viewers. Let's be honest. All right, you can see there, Broom headed for the award. Could he get Vanarama League Player of the Season? Um, we've spent a lot of years in this division and never got close. So, sure, one year, no award was given.
No one deserved it. I mean, good heavens. Why was no award given? I'd love to know why. I mean, st stunning news in the Premier League for those that are interested. Arsenal, Manchester United and Liverpool are battling massively for the league title with a game to go. And Thames and Chelsea battling for that final Champions League spot. Uh, in terms of the sides that have been relegated this season, Watford, Bournemouth, Swansea, uh, Fulham, of course, our affiliate survived. So good stuff from them. All the divisions are tight at this time of the year, of course. And now we'll have to wait and see. It's the Tuesday. Let's see. Again, anything but a Woking win, and we are, we're, we're living the dream, viewers. A Woking win, though, and it makes it a little bit tougher, knowing still they've got some tough games to come, actually, and they've got a few players out at the moment. I don't know how important those players are. I guess we'll have a look. I've just noticed some of them, like, they spend the most. They've got the most on wages in our league. Um, you can see they spend more than we do. Let's just let's just be kind and say more than we do. Uh, the players they're missing, then, uh, injuries. I mean, a few, yeah, they're, they're pretty impactful. They play a lot of games for them, so could have an impact on the game against Fleetwoods. As uh, here we go then, it's huge for us. Oh, it's massive for us. It's it's so big for us. Lovely stuff. Wilson, whoever you are, thank you so much. Tyree Wilson, wonderful things from you, my friend. As that, oh my goodness me, me puts us two points clear. The goal difference is 26, 26, 26. Goodness gracious me. If we'd have drawn that last game, I, I wouldn't have been on 26. But even so, I mean, unbelievable. As Fleetwood secure their playoff spot, if it's not already obvious to you, we've already got ours. And now the pressure on this Dulwich Hamlet game. Oh my goodness me. Okay, okay. We can't win it today, of course. That will have to be tomorrow at five o'clock. And so we'll see if we could do it. Oh, seven years of this. Seven years and we're getting so close. <sighs> There was a moment a few seasons ago, I thought, will it happen? <laughs> like, is this going to happen? And then I built a squad this season that is just, I don't know, just clicked. Everything has clicked. Taken some pressure off Cabbage up front, brought in some real workhorses in the centre, built a back line that is, as we said at the start of the season, right, is one of the strongest parts of our team. It was it was to begin with. It sort of changes because of the way the stars work. But um, <sighs> Dulwich Hamlet then, 23rd in the league. Not lowest wage, but lowest position. So it's lowest wage versus lowest position. So... Lowest stuff in the league. Lowest stuff in the league. You're never seeing that. So for those that have never heard it, and I've, I promised this on my stream recently, I said if we get promoted this season, because I, I, on my stream I play this very often. It's a party atmosphere. It's a party atmosphere. So I've brought out, I'll show it on screen now, it's a party atmosphere t-shirts. As you can see, they're not the most flamboyant of t-shirts, but that's kind of the point. It's, it's, it's somewhat ironic. Um, so I've said that if we are promoted this season, I will bring out... It's a contrasting atmosphere. It's a contrasting atmosphere t-shirts. So we'll make them like white and red to be Thames-esque. Um, I won't brand them with my name, so you wouldn't even be embarrassed to wear one. They'll be around a tenner. If you if you, if you you like the idea of... It's a contrasting atmosphere. T-shirts, then get excited. Let me tell you now. Tell you what, after that win, if we lose to Dulwich Hamlet, it'll be... It's a contrasting atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. All right, then. Top V, bottom. Again, I'm going to I'm gonna leave everything there. I'm very settled with what we're doing right now. There's a week between games. There's no, re no reason to rest. Hopefully, we don't come unstuck by the fact that not all of our team are... Fully fresh. Uh, Batch, yeah, one of our lone players. They're a really good player to play centrally. Um, but I just, whatever it is, the 15 tackling of Grice, the physicals of Grice, I just like him in the middle there. I love the fact I've got a regen, Jamie Grice, who's 30. We've played the save for a very long time. All right, then the team remains unchanged from last time. Um, we need Cabbage. We need Broom to step up, as we always do, as uh, this, this just got serious. Of course, Fleetwood and Woking, we're we'll playing their games today, so we'll keep an eye on what's going on over there. But uh, we we just need to win. Just get the job done, boys. Come on. My fear is, like I've I've played these games sometimes against this type of opposition, and unexplainably lose. And I and I my my history on football manager suggests that could happen again. As Cabbage goes in, it's a brilliant save from Baptiste. It really is. Uh, I'm going to have up on this side the latest scores because if they falter in any way tomorrow. Looks very, very promising, no matter what happens here, right? A draw is an absolute minimum today. A win is very much preferred. Um, what am I saying? A win is the minimum today. Turner, normally the left back, out on the right wing here. Looks inside to Brown, plays the ball in towards Cabbage. He heads on goal and just over. And early on, we're having a few good chances. I'm going to encourage the boys still. Seven minutes gone. Try and G them up a little bit. Uh, elsewhere, then Fleetwood at home to Stevenage, who we've just played, of course. And Burton and Albion, who are a very good side of this division, are at home against the struggling now. We're going to call them struggling Woking. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on those results. It's funny because you will obviously be looking at it. There's more of your eyes as Woking. I noticed it straight away. Have scored. And as things stand, they would go to the top of the table, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll just quickly check that to make sure I'm right. Yeah, they would go back on top. So the pressure's on. We have to win 
our game today and it's been the dullest affair i can ever remember right we're going to move things around a little bit um hopefully this doesn't if this still takes effect we'll make our lines slightly higher um again i might try a similar thing i'm just gonna have to take a look actually we'll just go back it's that team talk's gone average uh, again at the average positions of both sides it's very very even right now there's not too much to talk of i'm gonna do the same thing i did in the last game they're not playing quite as high but i do think it's a very effective tactic with the forward line that we have in transition uh, to do this so we're going to take long kicks over the top slow it down once once we get it it just means the pass i think is more considered when we get those opportunities so hopefully while still on attacking we can make something happen here as fleet would have been held woken a winning and um yeah we are drawing nil nil with dulwich hamlet i mean demand more boys can we or demand something i'll take anything right now half an hour to go it's been a very very boring game as i think bradley johnson have scored as we played woking recently we saw that uh, i don't think we can take broom off here but i think dylan on for Siddiqui again it seems like the log logical play and lay is going to come on for me in central midfield we've got to try and change this up early 25 minutes to go and right now it's it feels like we're not going to get this goal where, where boys we'll go slightly more direct in what we're doing as well um do we pass into space as much i think we probably do i think this i think everything else is fine we're just not having chances a highlight at the very least to hopefully make something happen with as sweeney heads on of course we do the worst things happen now be if we lose and then the last day or the last days of the season are going to be very stressful sweeney does brilliantly to intercept the lofted ball forward not particularly good and the header down actually pretty decent as it goes inside butler's there oh broom's in goodness me what a clearance from butler broom is in broom 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 i want you in my room to spend the night together for now until well definitely the end of the season he gets the goal thames one dulwich hamlet nil and that might be the moment which gives us a clear advantage going to the final day i can definitely bottle it which is now shouldn't be entering my brain but you if you watch for a long time you'll know that that's a factor oh my word okay there we go woking to that's kind of irrelevant right now i don't know what fleetwood are up to i think fleetwood are winning as well so all the three boys at the top are winning why am i not, i'm not going to change anything I, I live by the sword die by the sword as woking's goal difference is being much improved with a, oh my god why did i go more defensive i left it thinking it'll be fine they're in oh my word they've passed it backwards they're still in viewers we've blocked it someone closed down brown oh it's a brilliant interception is there a final goal it's a 2v1 it's a 3v1 cabbage racing forward to seal the game david cabbage for thames oh and he does it oh my heart <laughs> I thought we were going to concede. And I was just, I was picturing the people in the comment section going, right, you've stayed on attacking, you've not wasted time. Oh my goodness me, David Cabbage takes it all the way. It's a really good finish as well, actually, from a nice angle. And uh, Thames to Dutch. <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? I know I've got a two goal advantage and there's no time left, but fair enough why can't it just be easy thames to dulwich hamlet nil they're bottom of the league we made that seem like they were champions league contenders there we go boys great stuff and i i need an emotional reset after every single episode so elsewhere then fleetwood oh it's a late stevenage goal so fleetwood they're not out of the conversation but they have definitely faltered there whereas woking away from home at burton albion i said burton albion a good side woking did the absolute business which means as things stand right now we will be required to win both of our games tomorrow and i can't wait and i hope you'll join me for it <sighs> afc thames might be getting promoted we're definitely in the playoffs we want more if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you want to see more make sure you subscribe i'll see you again soon we love with care goodbye <sighs> we're close